Now we're looking at a second type of popular FRQ, and this is linear motion. I really think with linear motion, you guys are going to rock these. You're solid on them. So for linear motion, generally it's asked for information about the motion of the particle. Makes sense. You might need to know its direction, moving right or left, up or down, when it changes direction. So that's when you set the derivative equal to zero and look at when it changes signs. The maximum position in one direction. And then its speed. Of course, we know that's the integral of the absolute value. And you have to be very clear on the differences between position, velocity, and acceleration. Um, sometimes you're going to see some of these questions related to the type 3 that we'll look at next. Now, what should you be able to do? First of all, you need to distinguish between the position of a particle and the total distance. Now, we know that total distance is the integral of the absolute value, right? Or you have to add up the um, values between the curve and the x-axis, positive and negative. And we know position is just the integral of a rate of change. Now, sometimes you'll be asked for the final position. So in this case, you'll be given an initial position, and then you add it to the integral of the rate. Um, average speed, velocity, acceleration. These can be tricky, as we reviewed in a previous video, because to find average velocity, you could do the integral of a rate from A to B, all over um, b minus a, right? That would be the average velocity. Or you could also do s of b minus s of a all over b minus a, because that's a change in position over time. So it's miles over hours. So you have to look to see what you're given to decide which formula to use. And then last of all, is speed increasing or decreasing? Or another way to say that is it speeding up or slowing down. And we know for that we have to compare the signs of velocity and acceleration. And last of all, make sure to give your units if you're given units. Now I think these FRQ is going to be pretty straightforward for you. Now this is a calculator FRQ. And would you please now answer in pencil on your paper A through D. Now looking at the solutions of these, we can see on letter A you had to decide whether it was speeding up or slowing down. Now I just read recently, notice how you're given two points, conclusion with reason. Now you're not given one point if the conclusion's right and one point if the reason's right. No, actually you're only given the two points if both are right. So you had to say it was slowing down and you had to compare the signs of velocity and acceleration. That's worth two points. No partials on this. Um, for letter B, then you're asked to find when it changes direction. Well, we know it changes direction when you look at the velocity, that's the derivative equals zero, and look at the sign of the graph prior and after that point. So you, set the, you look at the graph and you analyze the graph and find the zero. The zero occurs at 2.707, and because prior to that value, the graph is positive, after that value, it's negative, therefore we know the particle changes direction. Now you're asked to find the position of the particle at time t equals zero. Well, for this we're gonna have the initial position plus the integral of the rate of change from four to zero of velocity to time. And so when you do that, you get negative 3.815. Now notice this is pretty nice. You're given one point for the correct integral, one point for including the initial, and then the third point for the correct answer. Now last of all, total distance, we know that's the absolute value of the integrand evaluated from 0 to 3. So it's 5.301. Ooh, let's hope you get one of these down the AP exam. Now again, reflect what was your score in this FRQ. I hope you rocked it. And then what were any of your weaknesses or any of your mistakes? What could you improve from practicing this? Now the second FRQ. Again, this is a calculator allowed FRQ. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is use your calculator and answer the parts A through D in pencil. Now I think you're gonna find this very similar to the previous one. So on part A here, of course, you're gonna to have to take the absolute value of velocity and when that is equal to two. So notice you get one point for considering that. Make sure, make sure, make sure you show your process, what you're looking at in your calculator. And then you get one point for the answer. Okay, for B, we have to look consider the initial position and then the integral of velocity. Make sure that your limit is a different variable than the variables used in the integrand. So you get one point for that setup, 
and then you get one point for the actual value at 5, which is negative 9.207. Okay, here we had to look at our critical points again. So notice you have to consider, tell them you're looking at when the velocity equals zero. And then you're going to graph that, and you're going to analyze your graph, find the zeros, and you see that your zeros occur at two places. So now you look prior and after each of those points. So at 0 0.5363, the graph changes from negative to positive. And at 3.317756, the graph changes from positive to negative. Now notice the decimal points in both of these answers. You have to give a minimum of three decimal points. If you don't, they don't give you the point. So here's your conclusion. So one point for showing that you considered when the velocity is zero, and then two points for both correct answers with justification. If you get one right answer, you don't get one point. You have to get both. And last of all, you had to find the velocity. You're having to look here whether the speed is increasing or slowing down. So we look at the velocity, and we compare it to the acceleration, and we can see that their signs are the same, so therefore the speed is increasing. Again, only two points for the correct conclusion and the correct reason. No one points on this. Okay, so again, reflect again. What was your score on the second FRQ? What was your weakness? What was your mistakes?